Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my tutorial on how to install and repair your own home telephone wiring. What we're now going to talk about is how to get that dial tone working and some of the stuff that we'll be using to actually do so. What we have here is a two line phone manufactured by the good folks at AT&T. That right there is the most beautiful sound that any phone tech can hear. What I'm now going to tell you about is how that dial tone goes through all this wiring and what all that stuff means. We're also going to discuss some of the basic tools of the trade. So if you want, grab a pen and a piece of paper. You might want to write some of this stuff down. Or if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to leave me a comment. We will get that taken care of. So let's get started. The mainstay of any phone technician is this test phone that you're looking at. This is called a button set or a butt set. What that means is that if, a, if you were a phone tech and you were working on a line problem, you could actually go up to the pole and actually butt in on somebody's conversation. Now, if you, if you work for the telephone company, you already know that the law prohibits you from divulging any details of that telephone conversation to any other person. You're not supposed to repeat that. Now, like I stated earlier in my initial video, if you come across a telephone conversation, you're probably not connected to the right line. Now, if you recognize the voice, if it's, a, if, if it's a conversation that's in your telephone wiring for your premises, that's okay. That should tell you that the line itself is working, that there's not a problem on the outside, or that you're doing something correct. Right? The butt set here, you can use this for a lot of things. Okay? A phone tech can use this to locate an open circuit, a short circuit, reverse polarity, can use it to troubleshoot loss of dial tone, or in this case, let's say this telephone was defective. Let's say it was not producing a dial tone. Now this here is not a line power te uh, telephone. It needs an electrical adapter in order for it to work properly. So let's say that phone is properly plugged in. You have voltage at the electrical outlet but you want to know whether or not there's a dial tone on that line. So this is what you do. Disconnect the satin cord, the modular cord with these little plastic connectors on the end. Now with the butt set, you also want to have one of these guys. This here is called, this here is called a banjo adapter. The way it works is it plugs into your home telephone jacks. And connecting it is actually very easy. Now this over here has two sides. You have the wall side and also the line side. What we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this little jumper. And we're actually going to take the adapter itself, plug it into the telephone wire. Okay? Just like connecting a telephone into one of your phone jacks, okay? It uses the same exact connectors. Now the telephone test set itself, or the butt set, as we will refer to it from here on, it's got two test leads on it, okay? You have the red and also the black. Now this is the same exact wire and colors that's used for a car battery, all right? The red is the ring conductor, which is the positive conductor. Telephone circuits, for the most part, use direct current. The only exception is for when the telephone itself actually rings, then we'll be using alternating current. That we don't have to worry about. That's actually handled at the source of the dial tone, whether it be a telephone company central office or if you have voice over IP service, would probably come from a modem or an enhanced multimedia terminal adapter. Either way, we don't have to worry about that. All we have to worry about is direct current. Now on the banjo adapter, it's going to have four letters listing each of the colors of uh, the quad telephone wire. Quad wire was used up until probably about 10 years ago when uh, the, the color scheme was actually replaced 
with something a little newer and a little more common today. Nonetheless, the basics are still the same. Quad wire itself has two pairs. The first pair has the color red, which is the uh, negative conductor, and the color green, which is the positive conductor. Okay, the green is the tip conductor, the red is the ring conductor. Red is the ring, red is the ring. That's the easiest way to remember that. So what I have right now is connected to the banjo adapter. The R is to the red wire, the, the G is to the black wire. Now, the set, now you're probably wondering, why is the black connected to the green? If you're wondering that question, that's a very good question. The second pair on your telephone wire has the colors yellow and black. In this case, the yellow is the ring conductor, the black is the tip conductor. Okay, So this over here kind of gives you a combination of the two and tells the telephone technician which wire to connect to which. This is all basic this is all basic matching ladies and gentlemen. If you can match up colors, if you can if you can match up letters, you're going to be okay when it comes to fixing phones. Now the butt set itself is not cheap. Butt set like this probably costs anywhere from 100 to 150 dollars. You can find these at a hardware store, you could find them on the internet, eBay, uh, there are also a lot of uh, warehouses that sell telecom test equipment where you could probably get it at a slightly cheaper rate. In any case, this here is something that is used by phone technicians throughout the United States. All right, if you see those guys on, on the side of the highway that work for AT&T, Verizon, whatever telephone company it is, this is one of the things that they have on their trucks that they use to get that service working for their customers. This is also what we're going to be using when I demonstrate what to do to get that service working. Now, the test set itself, okay, it's got these, it's got all the same numbers that you have on the telephone, right? The numbers one through zero, star sign and pound sign. It also has four additional buttons on it. There's a mute button for if you're making an actual conversation, a polarity light, a flash button for call waiting, and also redial. Depending on the butt set that you have, if you dial a number to make a test call, but let's say you disconnect the butt set and go to somewhere else on your premises to test that wiring. More often than not, these actually have a built-in battery on the inside that memorizes the last number that you dialed. So this way all you would have to do is go off the hook, which would be the same thing as picking up the receiver on this phone. I'm pretty sure you've all heard the term, leave the phone off the hook, okay, if you have that ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend or ex-whoever, somebody that you just don't want to talk to, what did you do back in the day? You used to take the phone off the hook and leave it there and walk away. This way if the person would try and call you, they would be met with a busy signal, the call would not connect. We use the same terms, on the hook, which means that the circuit is open, and off the hook, which means that the circuit is completed. So this is, what, this is an example of what's going to happen when we go off the hook. This butt set has two toggle switches. You have the lower one, which is the mode, mode of operation. You have monitor, which is on the hook, which means that if this is connected and there was a phone conversation going on on this line, you would hear it, but if you said anything, nobody would hear you. Again, you could hear, but you could not talk. T the toggle switch on the top has t also has two modes of operation. You have pulse, which is for troubleshooting data, and you also have tone, which is dial tone. I have it set on tone, and we're also on the hook. This is what's going to happen when we go off the hook. Now, another thing, since I mentioned that telephone...